Hello again, this is Ty Warner with Kiss Soft, Division of Gleason. And I want to talk about your own Wohler line, your SN curve. So here I've created my own data file for a material. And uh, I'm just, just so you can see, I'll turn my screen on. Here's my data file, right? So I, what I ended up doing is I, I went into my KISSOFT DAT file folder. And if you scroll down, you can find this WL. This is a Wohler line. And we have different materials in here um, with different um, uh, ratings. And these ratings, this is 92 or 100, those correspond back in here. Oops. If I go to my rating tab, to my details, this is it's looking at life factors. So I can do 92 or with optimum quality and experience, right? So these are my options, and these are my files right here, 92, 192, et cetera. But you also see we have these one, two, three files here that are separate. They're their own uh, Wohler curve. This happens to be for a, uh, these are powder metal type materials. These are, this is in your existing DAT file. So what I did is I pulled one of these files and I created my own. And I just modified some data so you can see kind of what it would look like. Um, you know, you enter your information here, the file name, uh, enter your data source, and then you'd enter your heat treatment, i.e. quench, tempered, case hardened, etc. Enter your surface hardness. Now this could be HRC, et cetera, too. This is for the uh, uh, YN equals ZN equals YN at 0.92 for 10 to the 10 to the 10 cycles. So here, what we would do then is we we look at our um, edge points, our cycles, and there's seven of them: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? And this is the number of cycles, and then we look at our data for the Hertzian pressure at this number of cycles. So these are our, our data points for the, the number of cycles here. And these are the data points for the uh, corresponding Hertzian pressure right here. This is in uh, MPA, megapascals. And we have the same thing for your root strength, your fatigue root strength. So if you know what your materials uh, pressure fatigue is, and your I would, I would look at this and say this is your bending fatigue, and you have a, uh, an SN curve, potentially, then um, you know you might have a fatigue for some material here. Um, you can put that data in here if it's different than what you think it is from the uh, standard, and you would save this file. You do a save as, and you want to put it in the ext dat folder. Okay, it's in there. We say yes, and now uh, you've created your own data set. You've given it a name, whatever it is up here, your name, and you close this, and you close this, and now here I'm in my ratings, right? If I want to use my own SN curve or my Wohler line, my fatigue data, I go to my module-specific settings, and I go to calculations, and now I want to click this box here, calculation with own Wohler line. And I turn that on, and I say OK, and if I... You can see I'm going to grab this um, normal reduction. This really doesn't make a difference here because what I'm going to do is I hit OK. And when I go back to my data, if I'm using an 8620, we'll say, let's find an 8620, SAE 8620, right here, right? Um, I can hit OK, or I can say I want to use my own input, and now I have a line for my Wohler line right here, my SN curve. So if I don't want to enter a brand new material, I can just check it. I go here, I search. I'm going to go to my program files, x86. I'm going to go to KISSOFT, EXT, DAT, and I'm going to grab this Wohler line example. Okay. And now I have a, a wall line example. And if I wanted to do a hardness curve, I can also set one of those up.
This is my basic data. This is now my war line. I hit OK. And now when I do my rating or if I do um, like a load spectrum, it'll look at that war line instead. Oh, oops. Let me grab this. Examples. Oh, there it was. Cylindrical gears. I just want to grab this first gear pair here. Okay, so here I run this. Here's my data. Um, I'm going to grab this 8620. So if we run this, for gear two, you see it's 2.9, and then if I if I go ahead and make this my own input and grab that file, I can grab my own war line. I hit OK. I hit OK. See, so this is my own input now, and now I run this again. Now it's 2.191. You can see the root safety change from that war line that I put in there. So it's pretty easy to do. Um, you just make sure you click your module specific settings, do calculations with own war line. You can develop your own war line, and then you can input it. You can create your own material and specify that as well. Um, otherwise, the program takes into account um, the steel. Uh, it calculates the the SN curve according to whatever standard you're using, ISO or AGMAR DIN. Okay? So that's how you would define your own war line. And if you were going to uh, create your own material, uh, we have another video out there already entering your own material. What you would do when you enter your material is, is you can edit that material then and add that war line to it. So I'm Ty Warner with Kissoft. If you have any questions, go ahead and give me a call, 715 Four seven seven zero eight two eight. You can also email us at uh, ty dot warner at kissoft dot com. That's three S's. Uh, and if you're interested in a test license, go ahead to www dot kissoft dot com, and uh, you can go ahead and request a test license there. We're happy to support you with that. Thanks for watching.